Hey guys, good morning, Joe. Another car video because my girlfriend is sleeping, so gotta let the women sleep, right? Another car video, but this time I'm in landscape mode. <laughs> I've been doing this in portrait mode, I don't like it. And yeah, actually, this is a lot better. Also, if I want to add images or whatever, I got more space now to do that. So this is a response video to a comment I got from a good buddy, Jeremy. Jeremy, what's up, homie? So, uh, I made a video about a book review that uh, I read a long time ago called Toxic Parents, right? By uh, Suzanne Forward. Really good book, right? And like, a uh, little by little more people have been sharing a little bit more about themselves through either like, um, you know, Twitter messages or through comments or just somehow in private, you know, through emails. So basically I wanted to like share in that video that like, you know, whatever your situation may be in life, there's always room for more improvement, right? Even if you're in a bad spot in life, then there's definitely is a lot of information out there and people willing to help you out, whatever your situation may be, right? So that's basically the message of that book. And uh, yeah, you know, I got a response and like, you know, I got his likes and all this stuff. So I glad people enjoyed that video. Uh, the thing with uh, this video though, is that I got a, res a comment, like I said, from Jeremy and um, Comment said basically that you know he he has a friend that kind of like grew up with like a tough background and I guess he like struggled in some ways but he was able to like you know get through in life and all that stuff right so he was thinking about getting this book for him but uh, he said something about feeling about getting um, overstepping boundaries right uh, and I guess that's like uh, what I want to talk about in this video is that is that um, if you guys watched uh, Kyle's video on uh, him going over. 2021 about what he experienced you know about his divorce and all this stuff and like um so on and so forth there was a part of the video that he said that uh is very important and i think something that a lot of people need to learn from themselves is especially the the topic of boundaries right if i remember i'll post the video of him saying that as most of you know mine began with a rough start when my five-year marriage ended 2021 was the first time i ever experienced crippling depression and while I have a lot more healing to do, because 2021 hasn't just been the hardest year of my life, it's also been the one where I've experienced the most growth. Hitting rock bottom and trying to climb your way back up puts a lot of things in perspective. I have a newfound respect for my strength and tenacity. I'm learning to respect my boundaries, learning to give myself permission to not always feel okay. And I've been reminded that the people I love are the only things that truly matter. And I think that's something that like um, people need to like learn for themselves and learn to respect of others, whatever they may be in this boundaries. Now with that book, uh, The Toxic Parents, you know, uh, that's basically it is that, you know, when you're a child, you don't have boundaries, you don't develop boundaries. You have basically a parent that they take advantage of you being vulnerable, right? And as the, as you get older, you probably don't you have a hard time learning to set boundaries with people because you were raised to not have any, right? And that's dangerous because, you know, obviously you're a target for people that are manipulative, you know, narcissists, you know, fucking just pricks, you know, whatever. So people can easily take advantage of you if you don't take, you don't have any boundaries, right? Like my buddy Jeremy here said he wanted to get a book, but he felt uncomfortable to give it to his friend because he felt like he may be overstepping some boundaries. And the funny thing about that is that I actually experienced that myself. I had a friend that he was going through some anger issues and I actually bought a book. I even bought it. I was gonna give it to him as a gift that's like hey you know i can see you're having some anger issues here's a book for you to maybe help you out a bit or something right however i never gave that person that book because i didn't feel comfortable doing that even though my intentions were good i don't know how he was gonna respond me giving him that book you know it'd be almost like an attack be like hey your attitude is shit here read this to get better in a way it's almost like me trying to like change him and what i feel be what i prefer him not to be angry right so i think uh Unless I brought it up and I told him, hey, will you feel comfortable if I got something for you? And if he said yes, I guess it's a different story. But all in all, like these books and these topics, like like I said, they're self-care. Keyword self. If a person is like, you know, being self-destructive and like they're, you're talking to them, be like, dude, you need to get your shit together. And they don't listen, right? They're going to continue doing what they're doing. And like, you know, they're just going to be a total fuck up. And it's true for the opposite, right? If you're a person that's, you know, you're living your best life, you're doing everything you can to be healthy, eating right, doing exercise and all that shit. Someone comes along and is like, hey, man, chill the fuck out. Have a beer with me. Let's have a burger. You know, the person can be like, no, I don't want to do that. You know, they're sticking to their plan of like eating healthy, doing exercise, you know, working every day or whatever. You know, it's just, you know, it's the same shit. Oh, just about. No, this is just me talking out of my ass. I have no fucking medical experience or therapy or nothing like that. This is just me talking through my own experiences and me dealing with my own personal issues, right? But when a person is ready to like work on themselves, whatever it may be, 
and they are gonna work on themselves. They're gonna ones. They're the ones that are gonna make the effort. From my personal experience, when I was close to someone, a relative, right, that they were like doing something that was affecting me uh, big time because they had a very bad attitude. They were vulgar. They were abusive. They're just negative as shit. You know, they're just crossing my boundaries that at the time I didn't have because you know I was young or whatever. Uh, but as I got older, and I just told them, hey, this ain't working out for me. I don't like the way you're treating me. The other person probably like brushed it off because you know. They were so used to me being a certain way because I didn't have any boundaries from being a young kid. As I got older, I learned to defend myself better. And like, I just got to a point and be like, hey, you need to chill the fuck out or else I'm out. The other person didn't fucking respect my new boundaries, I said. And I had to do what I had to do. And as I walked away, I totally cut that person off. And that's basically um, what you need to do for yourself, really. It's for your own mental peace. Yeah, you can truly love someone and all that shit. And if you're seeing someone like being self-destructive, you know, they're hurting themselves and all that shit. But there's only so much you can do if they do not care to take care of themselves, right? They need to work on themselves. If anything, probably the best thing you can do for them is simply let them know, like straight out, be like, hey, this is how you're acting. This is how you're treating me. I do not like this. I really want you to change your attitude or else, you know, I'm going to end this relationship. If they value you, then they're going to make adjustments. If they don't, or they have that fuck you're not going anywhere, anywhere attitude because they're so used to treating you a certain way then like uh you stick to your guns stick to your words to yourself and walk away and stick to it don't go back because that's another thing you know if you go back then obviously that's just gonna like you know let them know that uh they don't need to change because you're just gonna come back right but if you stick to your word in the sense that you never go back and you fucking cut them off or whatever that could be a, a massive shock to that person where it's like oh I fucked up. And guess what? They have to take responsibility because they realize that they did fucked up with you. So if anything, like you, like uh, setting boundaries for yourself and being honest with the other person of uh, what they're doing, how it's affecting you and the relationship between you and that person, that could be like the best thing that you can do for them to help them out. I definitely had people cut me off, right? Because you know, the way how I was acting, whether it was I was drinking and I was just being a total prick or whatever. So, you know, I had people like, you know, walk away from me or whatever. And it hurts. Yeah, but it makes you realize, oh, shit <laughs> i need to work on certain things right so yeah whatever your situation is it's all about self-care and if you have people that are close to you that may have suffered like some negative um attitudes from you then obviously the one of the first steps is basically meaning that you fucked up and talking to the person that you hurt and just saying hey you know what uh i think i realized i need to make some changes right it's not gonna be easy but you know i'm gonna need a little bit of support here you know because you know you're changing your whole way of thinking and so on and then the opposite, you know, if you're dealing with someone that's being rude to you or being self-destructive, you got to let them know, be like, hey, I can't not support you anymore. I cannot be around you anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore if you continue doing this because it's not, it's not healthy. I don't want to see you like this, so I'm going to walk away and let you deal with it because there's, there's only so much you can do when someone's being self-destructive. But yeah, uh, self-help, self-help books, self-help videos, self-help seminars, keyword self. You cannot help another person that does not want to be helped. If someone else is in a position that they're struggling, they want help, and they reach out to you, and you are not obligated to, but if you're willing, and if you really want to help this person, and it doesn't affect you in any manner in the sense like, you know, it's not going to put you in any bad financial situation, or any bad emotional, you know, roller coasters then you know help them out cool but if it puts you in a bad spot whatever it may be then you know just take care of yourself first i think that's probably the best thing you can do for anybody really is let them know you're fucking up and well i'm out get your shit together or i'm out i don't like the way you treat me so i'm out <laughs> that can make a massive difference in someone's life if uh, they don't want to get their shit together so anyways uh thanks for the comment appreciate it and like uh yeah keep the comments coming so we can have a continue with the discussion it's fun thanks for uh, hanging out with me take care and peace <laughs>